Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Aldo and today I'm going to show you how to make a box pleated dress. So this dress is vintage inspired and if you want to learn how to make it, keep on watching. If you want to learn how to make your own patterns, I will leave the links in the description box below. I tried to pattern match the sleeves so the finished garment will look really nice. I also cut the bodices in diagonal so I will have a contrasting print. And for the bottom of the dress, I have a 2 yards of fabric. And here I already transferred the darts. I will sew the shoulder seams first, just on one side. I'm going to grab the bias tape and I'm going to pin it on the side of the neckline. I will place it on the right side of the fabric. And then I'm going to sew along the edge. And here I'm just kind of helping my fabric as I turn on the curved line. You don't want to stretch the neckline. And now you're going to fold the bias tape under. It's basically you're just going to sandwich the raw edges. And then pin it to secure. And then I'm going to sew along the edges as well. Uh, you want to try to make it nice and pretty. And then I will trim off the excess bias tape. Now it's time to sew the darts. We're going to tie a knot to secure the darts. So now I am going to sew the side seams. On the left side, I will do a basting stitch and on the right side, I will do a regular stitch. The reason why I am doing a basting stitch on the left side is because I will seam rip it later on once I am ready to install the zipper. And you will have something like this. Now it's time to sew the sleeves. First you want to fold it and you're going to sew along the edges. Now it's time to attach the sleeves on the bodice. Turn the sleeve right side out. And you're just going to put it inside the armhole, just like this. 
and you want to open up the seams and you will also match the underarm seams. And then I'm going to pin it all around. I ended up doing a small pleats on the shoulder. When you do a small pleats, just be sure that it matches the shoulder seam. Then you're just going to sew it all the way around. It should look like this. As you can see, I already overlocked the raw edges. And now I am getting ready to seam rip the side seam for the zipper. It's time to grab the fabric for the skirt and here I fold it in half and I make a notch so I will remember that that is the center of the skirt. Here I added 1 inch allowance for the zipper. You can see here I am using my tape measure as a guide so every 3 inches I will connect it to 6 inches. Then I will pin it to secure. And then I will just move my fabric to one. And then from number three, I will grab it and bring it to number one. And then I will pin it to secure. Number three, I will bring it to number six. And I will also pin it to secure. So basically, this is just alternating going to alternate it so you can get a box pleat so you are just keep on doing this until you reach the other end of the fabric And now you should have something like this, going to do a basting stitch just to hold the pleats together. And here I'm just making sure that the pleats are touching each other, you don't want any gaps. should have something like this. I actually ended up doing two rows of basting stitch. Now 
Now it's time to attach the skirt to the bodice. Um, just be sure that the right sides of the fabric are facing each other. And I will start on the edge here and then I will pin it to secure. And then I'm going to sew it from this end to the other. As you can see, I press the allowance here for the zipper. It is much easier actually so the zipper will sit properly while you are sewing it. Here I'm just going to follow the manufacturer's instruction how to install a zipper. One of these days, I'm going to show you how to install a zipper. So be sure to leave a comment down below if you'd like to me to do that. I'm just going to sew the back seam from where the zipper end all the way down to the hemline. Now all I have to do is finish the hem lines and the sleeve hems and I'm done! So that's it you guys and I hope you find this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it. Remember, sharing is caring. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!